Hi, y'all, and welcome back to lives. I think it's time to play a little Seven Days to Die. Alright. Apparently, I got an inventory full of stuff. Getting a little late night recording in. I was a bit of a slacker. And, uh, it's almost 1 a.m. Hmm. <laughs> 1 a.m. Get this recorded. This might get uploaded by Saturday. <laughs> oh, my internet is slow. Still waiting on, I don't know, anything better. I, uh, I've got my deposit in for, um, Starlink. But I hadn't heard anything back from them in months. Not that that's completely better, you understand. Because um, I don't know how stable the connection is uptime-wise. Um, I know it really depends on where you're at, so I don't know uh, how well it will work at my location. Um, I actually read an article today about it uh, that made me laugh because people were like, yeah, I can't wait for this to come out so I can get rid of my 120 meg download, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I'm sitting here at 8 down and 768k up. Ugh. And it's been this way for over 10 years. To be fair, before that, I had 3 down and 500k up. So, uh, and that was all that was available. Well, I mean, that's all that's been available in either place. When I moved here, um, I don't even know why I looked in there. When I moved here, uh years ago the um, this was the only um, provider actually available is the one that I've got with the 10 it's it's 10 ish I get about eight. Which is ridiculous. You'd think that in this day and age that my internet speed would be better than this. I don't even live that far outside of a, a city. Well, why is that in there? Why are you in there? Why are you in there? Why is any of this in here? This is for completed items, not junk for my inventory. This is for junk for my inventory. <laughs> uh, too much stuff, too much stuff. Anyways, uh, so we did play D&D &D last night, um, so we only missed, we only missed one week, uh, I guess. Um, but uh, they, uh, so we played mine, uh, the one that I run. And we managed to, um, did you get that switch done? I'm going to need that as well. We managed to, um, um,
get started fairly early, so we got a good good uh, chunk of playtime in last night. I, I was trying a different um, setup than I usually use, so there was some delays as I got used to the new system. Um, I um, It's not perfect, but I do like it. Uh, and that is, uh, I have, I have all of, um, d d Beyond stuff, right? The digital, I don't know why I came out here. This is not where I place these things. Uh, I have the digital, um, you know, books and stuff like that. And, uh, all right, so... And, um, okay, let me go get some coffee in this guy so that my stamina is regening a little faster. I'm pretty sure coffee lets his stamina regen faster. Otherwise, I'm going to be here for an hour just hacking at a couple of bits that are in my way. Uh, and so, uh, the nice thing is, is that they have this encounter builder that is um, just coming to fruition, I guess. Do I have coffee? It would be in here if I do. Oh, yeah, I've got plenty of coffee. You do do stamina regen, right? Yes, 20% increase to stamina regen. And so... Um, because I have the books, then all the monster information automatically pulls into the encounter builder, right? But if I use roll 20, I don't have anything purchased on there. And so I have to manually, once again, I went outside. That's not where I want to go. I have to manually enter the information and it takes forever. And uh, I still have to enter like um, unique creatures to the uh, to the campaign we're playing, um, so like bloated plague zombie, right? I had to I had to put that one in, um, but it's a lot better to put one in than a dozen in, you know. And so, um, I don't know. Pretty sure I'm gonna have to take this out to fit this one in the back here. And so, um, it's pretty nice. Uh, one of the problems is is that the it has a built-in physical-ish dice roller, and so when you click on something to roll the dice, uh, it rolls 3D dice. Oh, dang it. I didn't want it there. Um, dang it. That is not where I wanted to place that. So, um... Which can take some time to roll. Uh, we had a moment where I rolled the dice and one of the dice bounced off of two of the other dice on the screen and then it just got into a top spin and it wouldn't stop spinning like a top. And I had to wait like 10 seconds or more before <laughs> everything finally stopped rolling around. That's only ever happened once. So it was, it was definitely a little bizarre. Um, and, uh, okay, so then I want to get this one back here done, and, um, the downside, though, uh, beyond I wish I could turn off those 3D dice, I don't have that ability yet, is, um, I thought I had set up so that I could roll to myself so that the players couldn't see it. So, like, I have to roll hit points, right? Well, it 
shows up on the screen. So that's a uh, that's not great. Um, and because uh, uh, I don't hide like combat rolls and stuff from them, but I don't necessarily want them to know how many hit points the monsters have, right? <sighs> Uh, can I wrench this down? It's just coming back as metal. I don't want to do this, but it's in the way. Unfortunately. Um, I need it to be in its actual position and not hanging out over here in the middle. There we go. Because I wanted to put a different blade in the middle, and I can't do that. Uh, so, you know, I brought my switch all the way down here, and I really actually needed my switch up there. Uh, and I can't... I guess I could do this. I could do this. Uh, well, you know, I could do this, but I didn't happen to actually bring the parts I need. Uh, now I want to <laughs> I want to put this thing in as well. Do you just work? Weird. Like, it's just on? I thought I had to hook that up to power and stuff. I'm I, I have not used the new ones, I guess. I I used the machine gun ones a long time ago and they definitely work different than that. Um so I need these Okay. Uh and then I need I need a spot for the switch. So there you go. Uh and then I need my torch back up there. There you go. Okay, so then we use this. This is connected to the battery. And then I want the battery to connect to the switch. And then I want the switch to... Oh, no. I'm working here, lady. Ooh, ooh, that did not like her screaming. She summoned zombies, though. I'll bet. Maybe we get some of them to, uh... Go over to the... <laughs> hammer. Is this too far? Or is it because it went inside the blocks? Like, I'm pretty sure it can't reach down that far. Um... Listen. Can you guys come with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like that. I want to see... I want to see this hammer thing work. Uh, 
Oh, look, there's some more out here, too. Look over here. <laughs> Ooh, what about this woman next to you? You didn't get the one next to you. Quick, quick, they're next to you. Get him. <laughs> that is hilarious. Uh, the only problem is, is they can walk right past it. So, uh, oh, we, uh, when we finished previously, um, they had started working their way toward this, um, ziggurat called... Mardong, Mardong, nope, G -g -g Mardong, Gar, Gardong, Gardong Marholds, I think it's what it's called. Um, playing from a book, so, you know, um, I don't have to, I don't remember the names of everything. Uh, and, um, I don't know how far this cable will reach. Because it turned red about halfway down. Wait, that's a timer relay. What? That's not what I wanted. It still claims it's not able to reach. I don't know if the timer relay means anything. I thought they were just relays. And if that's as far as it can reach, I'm going to need more relays. Did I make some relays? No. Uh, what do I have to have for a relay? And so, um, anyways. This is what I need. Uh, iron and electric. Iron and electric. So, um, they finally make it to the to the place last night. Um, and I'll tell you what, these guys, I, I just, I don't know what goes through their heads sometimes. So they, they get in there and out front of the place are some statues. Okay, it must just not be able to go through the block. I, n I know it stretches pretty far. Although this says it can stretch out to here. You really can't reach this? Uh... And... Um... So there, uh, there aren't any guys out front. There's just um, these statues, right? And so they don't check the statues um, other than to see they're made of stone-ish. Because there are animated statues in the game. Uh, and so... Oh, dang it. I was hoping I could land on that, and I did not manage it. At least I didn't get hurt. And so, um, 
they just go up and start walking through the statues and i'm like uh no back up uh oh so i don't know what was going on with the one guy last night but he would not wait to do stuff and he would just move his guy all over the place and start saying he was doing stuff and then like we're in the middle of doing something else and he's just like yeah so my guy goes off and he does this and this and this and this and this i'm like we're in the middle of combat in this other room you can't you can't have your guy i think we were actually in the middle of a conversation oh right right i am running cable i don't know why i suddenly decided i needed to come up here maybe some of these are done Maybe I'll remember how this game works. And so, uh, uh, which was really frustrating because it wouldn't even be his turn. And he was already talking about what he was going to do on his turn. When we were still trying to finish uh, the other people's turn. <laughs> okay, now I can't remember, but I think... I think we can split these. I think this will connect to multiple things. Cool. And then we get this one. And we get this one. And we get this one. All right. So then I need to take these out. And, um, so, yeah, so they tripped this, uh, uh, so that was one of those instances, uh, we're, they're discussing what they're doing and he's like, I'm going to have my guy scout ahead. And then immediately takes his guy into the building, um, like way into the building. And I'm like, wait, 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 wait. And he's like, what? Uh, I'm like, no, bring, bring your guy back. And, uh, so I move his guy back to, uh, where he tripped a trap and, uh, uh, it just, it summoned a guy. They, they killed it pretty easy. It wasn't a big deal. Um, but I don't know. I think these blades are too close to the middle here for... I think they're three by three. And this, of course, is four across. But I don't think I can fit another blade in this center like I had thought I might do. Oh, well, I do need one here, uh, which means this has got to go. And so... Um, yeah, they had to fight the the Azur. It's called. It's a like a dwarf, but it's on fire. And um, <laughs> so they killed that pretty easy. And then they had seen the inside of the rooms because I forgot to turn on dynamic lighting. So of course the the uh, you're not connected to anything. You should be falling. The other DM, right? super cheater boy uh he uh he's just like oh well, i'm i want to check to see if there's doors here i'm like yeah i know you know there are doors there because you saw the inside of the place and so um the doors were hidden behind some tapestries and so he's never said this before in the history of us playing he says I want to listen if I can hear breathing past the tapestries because he knows there's a room full of bad guys behind the tapestry. Not because he's 
ever listened for people breathing before, but because he knows there's a room full of bad guys. And I hate that. I hate that. It's why he he wants to control all sight in the games he controls, because it's what he would do. It's what he did. Um, because he can't not play the game like his characters don't know what he knows um and uh so anyway so they got in there and he immediately was like i attack i'm like all right roll initiative and uh and then um they start talking and he's like well maybe maybe we should talk to them can we talk to them i'm like no you've already attacked this <laughs> you literally we've already rolled initiative the the fight has started and um so because he tends to jump the gun like that and just attack uh and you know what's crazy is usually he's the one that makes me the most irritated during the evening but it wasn't even him this time and so we get in there and they kill all those guys and then the next place they open is um uh has a room full of uh trapped prisoners who are going to be sent for experimentation by the necromancer who's the bad guy and um Iron, steel, mechanical parts, electric parts, oil. Uh, and so, um, okay, one, two, three, four. I'll try for five, but I don't think I can fit one in the middle like I want to, because I think the pillars are too close together for that. But we'll give it a try. And um, so they they fool around with the the trap or the the they're in a lightning prison, which is I don't know uh, something I've never seen before so i assume it's unique to this particular campaign we're playing and it's uh it's walls of lightning basically um mm. oh yeah duh Oh, interesting. So these have a start and end time. I'm going to assume, uh, I believe those are the times of daytime and nighttime. Um, so let me get down and flip this last one. I'll replace those. Uh, there is no reason to not be able to turn them on and off. Um, and honestly, I will replace them with relays uh, eventually. Or not relays. Wow. Relays, yes. I will replace them with 
motion sensors is what I meant as their switches. Because um, I like the way the motion sensors pick up the movement and just turn them on when there's nearby movement. Um, but anyways, got to finish the story. So um, uh, this golem comes and the golem uh, will attack if they don't manage to... I don't know why I looked in there. Oh, I thought maybe another one of these would be done. Uh, it's got to be getting close. Uh, and uh, so the book says uh, they can try and speak with it, but it has to be in Dwarven. Um, and they can roll some checks to see if they can figure that out. Um, or if they try to like motion for it to do something, you can roll a, a check. But if if a Dwarf character speaks to it in Dwarven, it immediately understands very simple commands. And so the uh, Dwarf said a bunch of stuff to it, but basically the last thing he said was to stand down. And so that's what it did. It just stood there. And eventually they got it to move backwards, and um, I was very surprised. Like, they almost immediately got the Dwarven character to speak to it in... I don't know what their name of their language is. Uh, Dwarven, I guess. And, um... So... Uh, Alright, so I don't think... Yeah, there's not enough room in there for it. But, there should be... Oh no. There's not enough room right here? Okay, I can't get to go any further forward. Really, it should be over here, I guess, if I'm going to match the other one. And um, so they, they then go and they uh, open the door and inside are some people. And they talk to the people inside. And this is where I got frustrated. So they speak with the commander of the Black Skulls, right? That's the gang that currently holds this place. Um, they are... They are... Um, holding prisoners that have been captured by a different group for the necromancer. That's what they do. And uh, they've actually been tasked to clear the ziggurat uh, and collect any... There we go. Collect any... Um, items of power that are in the um, in the place. Man, I do love me some blade traps. And so while they're speaking to her, <laughs> while they're speaking to her, she, um, she basically she tells them they either join her gang or they leave the gang's base of operations because they don't have any business here. And so they're like, well, what, what do you, what does it mean to join the gang? And I'm like, okay, well, um, you know, basically they, they work for the necromancer, uh, and, um, he, you know, they guard prisoners for the necromancer and uh, and then one of the other guys is like, well, if we join your gang, uh, like, what kind of benefits are there? Like, what would my pay be like? What would my vacation hours be like? Uh, do I get medical leave? And I'm like, no, 
No, those words are not words your character would know. That's not stuff that happens. Uh, no. <laughs> Just no. Uh, I was very... Because he just kept going on and on. I'm like, this is not a negotiation for an office job. You're not negotiating your contract here in a modern day business setting. She told you the terms. You can take it or you can go. Uh, and, um, so they leave, uh, and, uh, they shut the door and then they immediately try to attack her, <laughs> but obviously she just locked the door after they left. And, uh, so they have to break down the door and then they fight her. And then, um, when she gets low on health, she throws our stuff and surrenders because everybody in this campaign surrenders, um, which is understandable. Uh, most of them don't even want to do what they're doing. So, uh, uh, like she wasn't always a gang leader. She was a school teacher before this. So, I could really use some uh, some zombies in here right now. Test out my blades. And um, so yeah, so they they uh, talked with her. She gave him all the information she had, um, and then she negotiated for her life. That they would let her go if they provided, if she provided them with some extra information she had. And uh, so after uh, the other DM, he plays a thief who causes most of their issues. Um, and so he's like, you can take my word. And so I'm like, yeah, no, she's not going to believe the dude who's who's dressed in, you know, dark clothes and a cloak and carrying daggers. Um, she is well aware of what you are. Um, she's not an idiot. Uh, so she asked for the word of the paladin in the group. And uh, not that she would know he was a paladin, but she would know that um, he was at least a knight kind of thing. I gotta be careful here. I could get chopped up by my own blades, I think. And... Um, so then she told them that there were, you know, items of power uh, that they had been sent to gather. And um, they were on the second floor. Uh, and I think that's about where we called it last time. But man, they made me so... Some of the stuff they were doing was just so irritating. Like, they're standing down there... Uh, talking to the woman after they had uh, after they had finished um, their fight right after they had had stopped the bandit leader and were trying to talk to her and the dude who the DM he's just like some other guy goes off and uh, he's going to take the gauntlet and he's going to search the whole room and he's going to take whatever he finds and then he's going to go and he's going to uh, ask her how to open the cage and then he's going to go open the cage and he's going to start uh, talking with the prisoners while we were talking out loud to each other about what the woman was saying. And, uh, and I'm just like, you can't be talking while other people are talking. You're an adult. You know how conversations work. What is going on with you tonight? Seriously, dude, you were way too hyper. You need to dial it back. Uh, I don't know why he was so gung-ho to get going, but yeah. That was uh that was our session last night. Uh I think it was probably the first really frustrating night I've had as a DM with these guys. Uh I mean, I have lots of frustrating nights when the other guy is the DM as a player, but 
as a DM, this is the first one where I'm just like, why are you guys acting like this? I don't understand. I really think next time they have to... Next time we run one of these, which is going to be a long time because this campaign is just getting started. We're not even a quarter of the way through. Um, but they're going to have to write down their characters and then stick to it. Because I am growing tired of characters who change how they act every time we play. Um, I know I know people don't... Oh, no. Did I... Do you see what I did down there? I placed my blades differently. I should really move that one back, except I can't pick it back up. Um, I know people don't like um, necessarily alignment. Uh, and I'm not saying you have to stick to your alignment. But it's a good it's a good idea to have some general concepts for your character that aren't necessarily immutable, but are the basis for how your character acts and not have characters who are just like whatever mood I'm in for the night, that's how my character acts. Um because as a DM, uh, I I just I find it very frustrating how their characters' attitudes and how they're going to respond to situations changes from game to game, for sure. Um, I mean, I'm a pretty even keel of a person, so uh, I I definitely probably don't. I can't imagine that I vary too much um, from sarcastic to irritated. Those are pretty much my two modes of operation. <laughs> and uh, uh, you know, I try to I try to come up with a personality for my character and stick with it, which can be frustrating. Let me tell you that. But, uh, you know, consistency in how you act. Um, I don't mean the little things. I don't mean the little things are changing. I mean, like, one time we play and the guy won't hurt a butterfly. And then the next time we play and he kills anything that moves. And then the next time we play, he's never stolen anything in the entire game up to this point. And then he's like, my guy's all about the gold. I'm going to rob every place we come to now. He's never done that before. Ever. So why does it start all of a sudden just randomly on a whim? Because that is not how people would act. Uh, it takes a major life-changing event, usually, to alter someone's personality. Or a brain tumor. Maybe his character's got a brain tumor. I don't know. Uh... But they do frustrate me when it comes to that stuff. All right, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna get these locked in here. Come on, careful! I don't want to get chopped up. Okay, don't don't cut me! Don't cut me! All right, so I think my pillars are pretty well protected. Um, I think we're gonna add one more, one more blade down there, uh, so that the center front is protected. I mean, stuff is probably gonna come in from the side, right? They're probably gonna come from over here. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. 
Well, this is a problem. There we go. Nice. Fatty Bear got chopped up on my blade traps. All right, with that, be better than the little things leading to the light. I will talk to you later.